Which one should I put on? These? Yeah, these. Put them on. Hi, Miss Portia. Mm -hmm. How you doing, baby? Happy Saturday. And today on Coffee and Conversation with your girl, Shaw Kenya. When you get a minute, go to that YouTube channel, Shaw Kenya, and hit subscribe. Damn. Look at some of the videos. If you see something that you like, just hit share. I don't know what I got to do for you people to do this. Do you want me to sing and dance for you in the morning? I already hit that high note in the morning with the pressure. Dang. It's a hard crowd. So y'all today, we're still talking about planting seeds and we've been talking about planting seeds indirectly. Now, another thing that I want to bring out with that family meeting and the importance of it and when y'all talking in the meeting about different things, and the family meeting that I'm talking about is the one that you have with your baby mama, your baby daddy people. The ones that's more intimate with the baby, close to the baby. Y'all all get together every so often just to make sure everybody on the same page as far as the things that y'all want for that baby. You know, how y'all raising the baby. Um, everybody's role, the role that they play in the baby's life. That way nobody overstepping their boundaries. So y'all should get together and do that. Yeah. Now, one of the things that I suggest is in speaking in that meeting that y'all respect the dynamics of each other's households you know remember i told you how the babies play a different role in each household they're, they are a figment a brick in the foundation of both houses but in this household the baby might be the baby the other household that baby might be the only child or might be the oldest So it's very important that y'all even talk about some of the things that y'all expect from the baby in each household, you know. Like for instance, if it's the oldest in this household, there's certain things that the baby gotta do because the other baby looking up to them or it's certain things that the baby can't do, whatever. In the other house, the baby the baby. So it's certain things that the baby probably can't do. So y'all gotta come to some type of compromise that way when the baby is over the other parent's house, the baby might not be, you know, not doing it. It's understood that the baby can't do this and the baby can't do that. So y'all got to respect the dynamics. And that comes with an understanding, of course, and a good relationship. So we're going to stick with the scenario. One mother, two daughters, two baby daddies, two grandmamas. Now I gave y'all over the day, last couple days some things that one grandmother would say. Hey, G. And I told y'all what the other grandma would say. Yep. One was the good grandmama of the East. And the other one was the, the, the bitch of the West. <laughs> Excuse me. Fix it, Jesus. It's a Christian show. But yeah, one was the good, beautiful grandmama of the East. And the other one was the bitch of the West. So, that being said. What if you and your household... That child is the baby. You got an older sibling, a sister that they look up to. Let's use those same little girls. One sister is older than the baby. The baby is the one that go to the bitch of the West house and the oldest go to the good, which of the East. Good grandma of the East. <laughs> now let's just say in your household, you molding your oldest so that the youngest will follow suit. Yeah, think about that. You molding your oldest so the baby is following suit. So therefore, you instruct this baby to look up to their older sibling. Whatever this older sibling want to do, the baby want to follow in their footsteps. If the older sibling get involved in some type of sports, if the baby sibling jump around, they be. But the oldest is such a good role model because you've molded this oldest in a way to where they're such a good role model that they know that their job is to be just that. So they know what they can and cannot do in front of their sister. They know what they supposed to be doing in front of their sister. They know how they supposed to act in front of because they know their little sister is looking up to them. So it's a certain image that they got to uphold. This is what you're instilling in your children, okay? 
Now, what if that baby goes to that bitch of the West house? Fix it, Jesus. It's a Christian show. <laughs> and tells that baby. This is implanting seeds indirectly when you're having conversations with the child or having conversations around the baby. What if, what if the bitch of the West tells that baby, you ain't got to look up to that Yo, you ain't got to look up to her. You ain't got to do what she do. You your own person. You ain't got to follow in her footsteps. You can do what you want to do. Do you see how that line of communication, that type of talk, can influence a child? Now, if y'all would have had a family meeting, <laughs> then... Uh, Bitch of the West would have known. That way they know to, not to say such things. They would know what your intentions were. They would know why you're doing what you're doing. And then the fact that the oldest is a good role model. It's not like the baby following in bad footsteps. Yeah, it's, the oldest is striving to be the best. Yeah, that, that oldest is probably in sports. Two or three different sports. That oldest is probably excelling in their grades. Yeah. So it's not a bad thing. That the mom is instructing this baby to follow up behind her sister's footsteps. But if you got a grandparent or somebody of influence that's telling his children otherwise, can't you see how that can interfere with your parenting and interfere with what you're trying? Oh, your nails are pretty. Good morning. Can you see how that can interfere with how you're trying to raise your baby? Yeah. So now just imagine the kicker is <laughs> both these daughters stay under the same roof. Now just imagine that mother taking both children over both grandparents' house, right? So these children are seeing how both parents, grandparents act and how both grandparents talk. But the thing is, the baby sees how the good grandmother of the East talks and acts. But the other daughter does not see how the bitch of the West acts because the bitch of the West acts really fake when the mama comes over and when the other baby comes over. So all the oldest daughter sees is how grandparents supposed to act and how grandparents supposed to be. But the baby, because the baby has experienced the bitch of the West, actually being negative, actually talking bad about the mother and actually not agreeing with the mother. But they also see the grandma acting like the grandma of the East when the oldest sister is around. Uh-uh, not today, baby. Right. So now I'm about to bring up another point. Now, do you ever wonder how older people <laughs> that you meet lack knowledge of certain things? And not only do they lack knowledge of certain things, but they don't have common sense. Well, stuff like this happens and it, it kind of feeds into that. Because at this point, you got an older child who knows how grandparents are supposed to be and knows what grandparents, how they're supposed to talk and what they're supposed to say. But you got a baby that's confused and conflicted. Because in one, one instance, the bitch of the West talking mess about the baby mama and talking, but when she see her, she real friendly with her. So now you got a baby that don't know how to act. <laughs> a baby don't know how to act because now you got this, this baby got options. I could be a mean bitch like the bitch of the West or I can be nice like the grandma on the East. As to where the oldest only know one way. But the kicker is they live in the same household. So it's a good chance that that younger can influence that older. See how that go? I know. That's why it is so important for y'all <laughs> to have these meetings and touch base every now and then. Have have a good relationship with one another. Be on the same accord when it comes to these children. Because y'all ruining the households. You know what I'm saying? Y'all the one that's causing the damage. It's not the white man. It's us in, inside internally with our own families and how we treat one another. Yeah, it's even important. It's more important how you treat each other after the breakup than it was when y'all was together. Because we still brother and sister. You know what I'm saying? I know. It's crazy. But y'all, that's it for Coffee and Conversation with your girl, Shakaya. <laughs> I'm out. Mwah.